Okay, so what we have here is, uh, let's just read what it says. It says, the aging of Torme designs, uh, accounts receivable as shown below, calculate the amounts of each uh, periodicity range that is deemed to be uncollectible. And then if we look down here at the bottom, it says, if the uh, allowance for doubtful accounts has a credit balance of $1,135, record the adjusting entry for the bad debt expense for the year. So we're actually going to go ahead and do all of this because this is going to be the only question that we have in this particular um, uh, video. So I think we'll, I think we'll be okay. So if we look at this, we have, we start off with not past due all the way down to over 365 days past due. And just as we would hope to find our not past due balance for our accounts receivables is a whole lot bigger than every all of these other amounts here. So this is a pretty good indication that we have some mostly good customers. If we look down here all the way to the bottom at our receivables that are over 365 days past due, we only have $1,140 uh, in that category, which is a good thing because we can just about be guaranteed that we're not going to collect much uh, of any of this. <clears throat> and then we look at the percentage column. We're going to say that about 3.5% of this $850,000 will ultimately not be collected and so on. I want you to understand that of this $1,140 that's over 365 days old, at one time, it was not past due. It's been a while, but at one time it was not past due. So let's go ahead and do the uh, calculations on this. 850,000 uh, times 0 0.035 or 3.5% is going to give us 29,750 dollars. Twenty nine seven fifty forty seven five hundred is one to thirty days past due, and we're going to say that roughly five percent of that is not going to be collectible. That comes out to two thousand three hundred seventy five dollars. And we're just going to go on through this twenty one seven fifty. Probably do this one in your head times 0 0.1 or 10% is 2175. Let's go ahead and plot that. Try to write a little bit darker here. 11250 times 20% is 2250. So of this $11,250 here, we estimate that we're going to collect about thousand of this but that we will not collect two thousand two hundred and fifty dollars these are all estimates of course 91 to 180 days past due estimate of one thousand five hundred and eighteen dollars uncollectible twenty five hundred times point five should be twelve fifty And then 1140 times 0 0.95, 1,083. Okay. So out, what we're saying is we have total collectibles, uh, I'm sorry, total receivables uh, on our balance sheet of $939,200. We estimate that of this amount, if we if we sum all of these items here and i've done this in advance we come up to, with forty thousand four hundred one dollars that is estimated to be uncollectible okay so let's move this over here for just a moment it says 
If the allowance for doubtful accounts has a credit balance of 1135, record the adjusting entry. Well, let's think about that for a moment. Aging. When we see this, when we see this word aging, and then of course we're we're using an analysis method here with this table. What we're saying is, is that this forty thousand four hundred one dollars is precisely the amount that we want to start off with for the next period, on our balance sheet. So, um, if we were to, it says here, it says. Um, record the adjusting entry for bad debt expense for the year. Okay. So we didn't, it has a credit balance. So there's $1,135 still in this account. So that's $1,135 that we do not want to charge to um, bad debt expense. So we're going to take our $40,401 and we're going to subtract the $1,135, and that's going to give us $39,266. <clears throat> so if we're going to do a journal entry, and I realize that we have done stuff like this before, I'm abbreviating completely now. Allowance for doubtful accounts. Our debit would be the 39,266. And so would our credit. And if we do that, if we go ahead and we credit allowance for doubtful accounts for 39,266, when we do that, it's going to add it to this. Um, what was it, 1135 that's already on the balance sheet, and that's going to give us our desired $40,401.